What is going on YouTube? Hannah back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. As you guys know, the S&P 500 closed Friday after 4 p.m. And you can see what we had uh, all of last week. Lots of consolidation. And we had, I believe this was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, correcting and dropping quite substantially with a total of 6.3%. Now we're starting to see cryptocurrency acting different from the S&P 500, but not only only is this a massive correction in the market it's a massive hit on the economy which means most likely people are also going to be selling out of their cryptocurrency which is actually what we're starting to see happen right now within most of the major cryptocurrencies which is why we turn on to the xrp ethereum and bitcoin charts now yesterday was confirmation actually two days ago was confirmation as to when we should be making our trades and yesterday was when we had entered one or you can see a couple nights ago uh, two nights ago i believe this was the 10th today is currently the 12th so two days ago yes two days ago you can see here we closed our bottom support below or we closed this candle below our bottom support here which to me was a signal of, hey time to buy in guys because we're falling quite substantially you can see we've been tracking um xrp within a major symmetrical triangle just like this and we closed below our major uptrend as well as price floor here which pretty much confirmed hey guys it's time to short this and as you guys can see we made the proper choice and we are continuing to dump lower here and it goes beyond just xrp it goes into uh ethereum as well as i believe bitcoin uh as we have both fallen below its major price floor level here you can see ethereum is continuing its descending fractal breaking through its price floor at 1733 as we expected and prices are now continuing to dump down to 1400 like i said we had a target at 1200 1300 dollars here we have both shorts on xrp and uh ethereum here and we just put in a short for bitcoin as of last night because guess what after a month of trading sideways over a month of trading sideways within um bitcoin here you can see from the start here it's been a total of this was 32 days so the 33rd day closed us below our major price floor right here and because we closed below this major price floor right here we put a short position in and as you guys can see all of this morning has been correcting downwards and there's a good chance we're going to continue to dump so in today's video we are going to be looking at these going over everything deciding whether or not we should be buying in shorting entering a trade is it too late to enter a trade so on and so forth so with that being said definitely make sure to smash the like button for the youtube algorithm turn on post notifications subscribe and let's dive into today's episode so guys before we jump into today's video once again i have started my new finance channel as you guys can see here i am doing a giveaway once we hit 1000 subscribers we're currently at 471 subs i just dropped a video three days ago and i'm going to be dropping another one this week so stay tuned as you guys can see this video pretty much talks about everything that's going on within the economy the stock market so on and so forth. Um, the next video that I am going to be dropping is about uh, the crazy inflation that we're having and how we can pretty much, uh, you know, what's what the heck's going on with the economy. So definitely make sure to uh, subscribe to my finance channel if you're interested. Make sure to check out this video. It's super cool. Getting a lot of positive, uh, you know, comments about this. I'd like to hear your opinions on this as well. Now, diving into today's video, you guys know that the past couple of days we've been watching um, XRP's descending fractal here. You can see for the length of it, descending fractals typically break bullish, but they find that bullish run after we've hit a bottom here. So you can see there is a stair stepping pattern where we hit the top resistance, correct lower, hit it again, correct lower. At some point, we are going to hit a bottom and that bottom is going to indicate a breach in the descending fractal and then we'll see the run. The problem is we are continuing to skew lower. Now, besides that forming, we also noticed there was some sort of either, uh, you know, uh, pennant flag or just a symmetrical triangle overall where we have higher lows and lower highs that end up meeting at some point in here and then deciding are we going to be breaking bullish or breaking bearish now as you guys can see we had our price floor we had an uptrend we had our downtrend and we had our resistance unfortunately we've seemed to be having a pretty negative uh reaction to the major resistance up here because we typically break bearish consistently which is why we had like a 70 30 percent chance of breaking bearish and as you guys know just two days ago we closed below Below our major support once again very close to here where we've done it in the past year the only difference is instead of us uh breaking the price down here which has uh, a lot of room to trade we were retesting major resistance here we had a major downtrend that was very problematic so the prices hit this rejected closed us below here i believe this was uh friday thursday wednesday we closed wednesday night below here we entered a short position here with very low leverage on bityard and since then you can see the prices have stumbled from 38 cents 
cents down to 36, now even lower down to 34. And we did this all on Bityard here because Bityard lets us leverage trade short and long XRP specifically, as well as a ton of other uh, cryptocurrencies you can see here and altcoins, which is awesome. So definitely make sure um, to check out Bityard. I'd say in my experience, had I missed out on the run on Wednesday, even if I missed out on the run on Thursday, even Friday, or sorry, even today seems like a good opportunity. Sorry, this wasn't Thursday. Uh, this is Friday. This is Saturday. This is Sunday. I'm thinking about the S&P 500, which is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, but you can see here, yeah, I'd still think we have a great opportunity, even though we're hitting oversold. We're you know, reacting very nicely with this resistance. So there's a good chance we could even, you know, come back up a little bit and just continue to follow this downwards. And even that is going to send us lower and lower and lower, which isn't good, but it is opening up a good opportunity to short XRP, which is just by clicking XRP here, market order, the amount of leverage that we want, typing in the amount of margin and clicking sell short. It's that simple. And if you guys want to test your skills, maybe you're not confident yet with actually trading with real crypto, you're afraid to lose money. What's awesome is they offer a demo account by clicking demo right here. You can actually trade around with Monopoly monopoly money, $100,000 completely free. Test your skills, get familiar with the website so that you can prepare yourself better for the next opportunity that approaches. Also, once you sign up with the link down in the description, make sure to click on right here, mystery box, earn some free crypto by clicking that as well as daily mine, which is awesome too. So with that all being said, guys, moving on from XRP, you can see the same thing applied itself with Ethereum. Just as XRP broke on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Ethereum broke Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And you can see beautifully, as I said a couple days ago, I think on Friday, or sorry, on uh, Saturday here yesterday, we saw us beautifully close much lower uh, the support here. Unlike XRP, which is so close right here, you can see it was so close, it was hard to make the, the jump. Uh, Ethereum closed much lower than our price floor, which gave us a beautiful time to buy in. So we put in a short position here at 1670 around that level right here, and we've already pulled down to 1450. Uh, so you can see the total price range drop has been 14 and a half percent, which is a huge short tons of money there. Uh, yesterday, Bitcoin opened up a beautiful opportunity to buy in. You can see this was a massive support level for Bitcoin. And if broken signals, hey guys, we're going to dump very low. So the fact that we just broke through this and are starting to trend downwards here, I'm probably going to close this weekend below this means the next dump we have is closer to $20,000, which is very scary. It's unfortunate, but there's a very big chance now that that's where the price is going to be. Uh, moving to with Bitcoin. So we do have a short entered. We entered it last night. So keep your eyes peeled because there's a very big chance we are going to fall and fall hard. And it is a good chance we're going to see maybe even 16, 17K. Uh, but that's pretty much it it for today's video. The S&P is probably going to continue to skew lower. I think the next retest it's going to have is probably where it currently is. But with inflation data now saying that we're uh, you know heading lower, there's a good chance, or sorry, heading higher inflation data. There's a good chance the next target we're going to be hitting is 37.65. The lowest point I think we could move to is right about here at 3,200, which I really don't want to happen. If that happens here, then the total price of the S&P would have dropped uh, 32%, which isn't terrible because the drop that happened during the pandemic was a total of 30. 6%, but this is 32. It's still really bad. It's not what anybody wants. It's unfortunate, but there's a very big chance here because right now where we're trending is, you know, just inflated markets. This was all overinflated. This is inflated. We're not undervalued yet. Undervalued would be closer to here. Undervalued would be closer to here, which is very unfortunate and scary if you think about it. So hopefully the economy knows what it's doing. Hopefully the feds know what they're doing. Hopefully the government knows what they're doing, but we'll have to wait and find out. Otherwise, that's going to wrap up today's video. Definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.